In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change the time zone on Google Classroom. Whether you've recently moved to a new location or you're managing classes across different time zones, setting the correct time zone in Google Classroom is essential for keeping schedules consistent and avoiding any timing confusion for assignments, tests and classes. First things first, begin by opening your favourite web browser and go to google.com. Once the page loads, you'll notice a sign in button at the top right corner of the page. Click on this to proceed. It's the gateway to accessing all your personalized Google services, including Google Classroom. After clicking sign in, you'll be prompted to choose your Google account. Select the account associated with your Google Classroom. This will most likely be your school or personal Google account. Once selected, you'll be asked to enter your password. Make sure you type in your password carefully. We all know how tricky it can be to remember passwords, so take your time. After entering your password, click on Next to continue. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll find yourself looking at the Google homepage again, but this time you're logged into your account. Look for the Google Apps menu, which you can find at the top right corner of the page. It looks like a grid of dots. Clicking this opens a drop-down menu showcasing various Google Apps available for you. In this menu, find and click on Google Classroom. This will take you directly into your Google Classroom dashboard, where you manage courses, communicate with students, and more. Now, once you're in Google Classroom, you might think, well, where do I change the time zone from here? The trick lies in understanding that Google Classroom uses the time settings from Google Calendar for consistency across Google's suite of productivity apps. To access this, Click on the Google Apps menu again, located at the top right corner, just like before. This time look for and click on Calendar. It's crucial as it houses all the scheduling aspects linked to your Google Classroom assignments and notifications. Once your Google Calendar opens, navigate to the right side of the screen and click on Settings. This step is where you'll be able to make adjustments to various preferences, including your time zone. Within the Settings menu, locate and click on time zone. It should be relatively easy to find. Here Google allows you to specify your exact time zone. This ensures that all timestamps and deadlines within Google Classroom reflect the correct time according to your current location or preference. Clicking on time zone will reveal a drop down menu with a list of world time zones. Take a moment here to scroll through and select the time zone that corresponds to your current location. It's a comprehensive list, so you should have no trouble finding the right one. After selecting your new time zone, Google Calendar, and therefore Google Classroom, will update to reflect this change. This adjustment ensures that assignment deadlines, class meeting times, and any other time-sensitive activities are correctly aligned with your local time. It might seem like a small detail, but it's incredibly crucial for running a smoothly operated digital classroom. A couple of additional tips to keep in mind. If you travel or move to a different time zone, you'll need to repeat this process to update your settings again. It's also a good habit to inform your students or fellow educators about the time zone you're operating in, especially if you're working with people across different geographical locations. This transparency helps minimize confusion and ensures everyone is on the same page or in this case, the same time. And there you have it. A straightforward guide to changing your time zone in Google Classroom. This simple adjustment can make a big difference in how you manage your digital classroom, ensuring everyone knows precisely when assignments are due and when classes will meet. Remember, staying organized and proactive about these settings keeps everyone informed and focused on learning. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on making the most out of your Google Classroom experience. Thanks for watching.